Okay, so we're introducing a portion of Newton's second law. So the second law is called the force mass acceleration law. Got it kind of squished in there. So force mass acceleration. It's called the force mass acceleration law because the law basically says that if you want more acceleration, so if you've got an object and you want it to accelerate it very quickly, more acceleration requires more force on potentially less mass. So if you could actually take the object and drop the mass, that would actually gets you more acceleration as well. And also that the more mass an object has, the more force it takes to make it accelerate. So none of that is terribly mind-blowing because that's kind of common sense. Bigger, heavier objects require more force to actually make them move. So this is the second law in a nutshell. Now the second law also introduces to us a formula, a, a, an equation, that says F or force equals mass times, and I'll abbreviate that, it's m times a, or mass times acceleration. So we've got force, mass, acceleration. Okay, so this is the basic math for it. We're going to end up using this formula to practice solving several different equations, and we're going to solve for force, we're going to solve for mass, and we're going to solve for acceleration, all three. To do that, if we use our formula, and we use our formula triangle, just like we used for our speed formula triangle, we can actually use the triangle to help us solve for each, of the, each piece. Well, mass is times acceleration in our formula, so it needs to be times mass and acceleration need to be times each other in our triangle. So mass and acceleration go in the bottom. And then force goes in the missing piece. So using this triangle, I can now cover up the piece that I'm looking for to figure out what kind of math I need. So if I'm looking for force, it's just mass times acceleration. They're beside each other. If I'm looking for mass, I cover up mass, and it's force divided by acceleration. And then if I'm looking for acceleration, cover up acceleration, it's just force divided by mass. Okay, so if you remember, division, multiplication, division. Okay, so easy enough. Now to do a couple of examples, so I'm going to redraw this force triangle up towards the corner. Force, mass, and acceleration. If I am in some sort of scenario where I have actually, I'm looking for how much force it's going to take to, let's say, throw a baseball. And I'm not exactly sure what the mass of a baseball is, but let's say it was 0 0.25 uh, kilograms. And I want it to accelerate at 10 meters per second squared. Okay. Cover up the part you're looking for. That's the force. I have m next to a. So I'm going to multiply. So force equals 0 0.25 times 10. 0.25 times 10 is going to equal 2.5. It's 2.5 what? Force is always measured in newtons. So this would be my answer, 2.5 newtons. Okay. Another example. Let's say this time I know my force. I know that I'm applying, let's say I'm doing like a small toy car. I know my small toy car's motor is applying a force of 15 newtons. I know the mass of the car is going to be 3 kilograms. And I want to know how much acceleration is going to come out of that. So how much acceleration will that toy car have with 15 newtons of force and 3 kilograms of mass? I'm looking for A, so I'm going to cover up A. I'm left with F over M. So force 
15 divided by my mass 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 what? The acceleration, the units are always going to be the same when we're doing this example. Meters per second squared. Okay, so we'll do one more example and then we'll call it good. What if I'm looking for the mass, F, M, and A? I know the force um, that I'm going to be supplying is, let's say, relatively easy number, 20 newtons. My mass, I'm not sure, but I know I want it to move at um, 5 meters per second squared. You cover up the part that I need, you cover up mass. I'm left with force over acceleration. So mass equals force over acceleration, which is 20 divided by 5. And 20 divided by 5 is 4, but then my unit, all my units before for mass were in kilograms, so it'll be 4 kilograms. Okay, if you have any questions, please come ask.